Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 9 maths chapter number 4, practice set number 4.2. We are going to complete in today's video. Link of other practice set that is 4.1 will be given in the description. You all can check. So let's start with the first question. In this, we have to construct x, y, z, but over here, instead of plus, that is x, y, and x, z is going to be given in the form of subtraction. Whereas in the previous um, exercise, addition of both the sides were been given. Okay, so over here, subtraction is been given. So almost the same method as we have done 4.1, that method only we have to try. So first, we will draw a rough diagram in which y and z is supposed to be 7.4 centimeter angle y is supposed to be 45 degree w is going to be 2.7 now this is the point that we have been taken by our own okay then we have to draw a perpendicular bisector to this line okay which will cross this ray okay in this way so this point is going to be x and this ray is supposed to be L. Okay, I hope this figure is clear to everyone in this kind of uh, rough diagram. We will draw the fair one. First, we will draw the base that is 7.4 centimeter. So using a scale, we will draw. here which is y and z 7.4 centimeter this side then we are going to draw an angle of 45 degree so this is going to be a 45 degree extend a ray over here Alright, this you don't have to put an arrow because this is a measurement 7.4 centimeter. Now what we have to do, we have to construct 2.7 wala arc over here using a scale and a rounder. 2.7. So we have taken 2.7, draw an arc over here. Okay, after drawing an arc, we will join this point and Z. Okay, we will name this as W as we have marked it over here. 2.7 centimeter is going to be this distance. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to draw a perpendicular bisector of W and Z which is in this form you all have to take a distance of more than half take the measurement of these two arcs okay so once you have drawn a perpendicular bisector draw a ray okay now you will see both the rays are intersecting okay over here so this point you all have to join with z and this point is supposed to be your x and this ray is supposed to be your ray l okay here you all can name m n anything you all want to Okay, which is not being included. I hope this figure is clear to everyone. This is a perpendicular bisector that we have constructed. Let's move on to the next diagram now. Uh, which says construct PQR such that QR is 6.5, PQR is 40 degree and PQ minus PR is 2.5. Okay, so same method we are going to do. First, we will draw a rough figure in which we will have an idea of what to draw. So, this is going to be Q and R 6.5 centimeter. This point is going to be P. Here we will construct S which will be a perpendicular bisector. Rough diagram you can draw with hand or even with a scale also. 
40 degree so whatever is been given in the question that we have drawn in the rough sketch let's draw the fair figure now first we will draw the base which is 6.5 centimeter so 6.5 is over here we will join them 6.5 centimeter q and r then we will draw 40 degree wala angle 40 is coming over here i will extend it all right so this is the extended ray 40 degree then we have to take 2.5 on the scale and draw an arc so 2.5 Now we will join them in this way. So this point and R, we will name this as S. This is 2.5 centimeter as we have taken it in the rough diagram. Now we have to draw a perpendicular bisector to SR. So perpendicular bisector SC. Take small arc because it looks very shabby when you take big arcs when it's not necessary. So take the measurement of two arcs. Place it over here. Draw a small small arcs. Many children draw big arc and then it looks very shabby. So once you have got two distinct point draw an arc draw a ray in this form okay now the point of intersection is over here of both the rays then you all have to join them so this is going to be your point p this will we will name it as l this we will name it as m okay so in this way your figure for question number two is done let's move on to the third figure which is construct triangle abc such that bc is six centimeter abc is 80 and ac and ab is 2.5 now instead of 80 i'm going to take 100 because in the recent textbook it is 100 in the old textbook it is 80 80 wala figure also same measurements you all have to take as we have done for first and second but over here we have to measure it in the form of uh, 100 centimeter 100 degree so let's start the rough diagram over here so first we will construct 6 cm B and C then we are having 80 degree or sorry 100 degree wala angle okay 100 degree angle we have to construct which will be in this form then okay now over here we will name this as a okay then instead of taking measurements on this side we have to take measurement over here which will be d and then we are going to place it so that the figure will come small perpendicular bisector we have to draw over here on this line okay then only this construction is going to be done now this figure looks different but uh, when we draw it it will look proper okay so this is going to be the figure let's start with the construction first now now we have to first construct the six centimeter as it is going to be big we will construct it we will not uh, do this diagram children let's not solve it in this way as we have done it in the same way only we will construct that is bc ye hamara 100 degree ka angle which will be straight and then this is going to be ra or ye ho jayega hamara 2.5 
centimeter so let's construct it in the same way as we have done the first and second wala let's not change it okay so main thoda niche lungi because it is going to be lengthy so this is going to be 6 cm okay so 6 cm b and c 100 degree ka angle we will take okay so 100 degree is coming over here you all can see outer side wala angle we have taken then we will extend it a little lengthy we will take it okay in this way now we have to cut this in 2.5 So two point five. ठीक है. So two point five. Join this. Now we will draw a perpendicular bisector for this. We will name it as S. Figure में भी हम S ही उसको नाम देते हैं. For SC we are going to draw a perpendicular bisector. So this way. then we are going to join this okay now you will see our ray is not coming okay so we are going to modify this question children why i have drawn this because many of you all were confused with the previous question also ki uh, why we have taken the same step ab agar humne ye 2.5 niche liya hota as we have taken over here the same way if we have taken it down to hamara ye cutting barabar se hota tha now you will see we are not able to get this together hai na cut hoga to hi hamara aayega but it is not coming so what we have to do we will again draw and take this 2.5 ka measurement down okay so this is for the ones who had not understood and were confused so for them only i have drawn and shown you all this two differences so first 6 cm same steps only you have to construct 2.5 down theek hai then we have to take 100 cm okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to extend my line down also यहाँ पे नीचे ओके ना यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई वी हैव टेकन इफ वी वॉन्ट वी विल एक्सटेंड दिस रे नाउ दिस इज हंड्रेड डिग्री नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू टेक टू पॉइंट फाइव का मेजरमेंट विच इज दिस ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ पॉइंट फ्रॉम योर ठीक है सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आ टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर और हम इसको नाम देने वाले हैं एस ओके जो एस था अब हमने नीचे लिया वेर एज इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन एस दिस इज फॉर यूल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि वाई यूल हैव टू मेक दिस चेंजेस बिकॉज वो नहीं आ रहा था एंड देन वी हैव टू डू दिस थिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू जॉइन दिस एंड दिस ओके पोपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर विल बी ड्रॉन ओवर योर इन सब को लेके पोपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर हम ड्रॉ करेंगे दैट इज एस एंड सी आर 
I hope the ones who had a problem uh, in the previous video are getting their point clear. Now you will see when we draw a ray, it is going to cut. Okay, it is going to cut it over here. So this is your ray. Okay, now this point of intersection, we will join our C. So only one change we have done. Only one change we have done that is instead of taking 2.5 up over here we have taken we I have shown you 2.5 we have here also okay so this figure was not uh, merging with they were not intersecting each other over here when you use the same steps but instead of up we have to take it down so that we can intersect the two rays okay so over here you are going to get your point a b and c with the given measurements your diagram is ready i hope this confusion was clear with this uh, two sums see you in the next video till then take care bye